panel. So when I click on that, uh, I'm to start with, I'm listing all my apps. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the Sales Hub app, but you can see it's not listed in here. So I'm just going to click the All button. And now I can see the Sales Hub app here, and I'm going to configure this. Now, if I wanted to put this in a solution, I could actually create a solution and add that app and, and edit it from here. But in this case, I'm just showing you how to demo. I'm just demonstrating how to edit it directly. So I'm going to go into the Sales Hub app, and then there's a settings up on the upper left hand side. I click on that, and then under features, if I scroll down a little bit, there's a little section called in-app notifications. By default, it's off. So when I turn that on and save it, that'll enable in-app notifications to be viewable for users within that app. So again, now I'm going to switch over to the Power Automate here. So I created a sample Power Automate flow here called Opportunity Status Changes. So when I open this up, I'll show you what that looks like. I edit this. So it's pretty basic. All I'm doing is I click on this when a opportunity is modified. And then I have the column forecast categories, the field that's going to trigger this flow to run. And then I'm basically setting the when the, the only run when this forecast category equals this value, which is actually the committed option set. That's the value behind the committed option set. So that's going to trigger this flow to run. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a condition. And I'm only doing this because uh, the condition I have in initially is when the forecast category equals that committed status, then do something, right? That's the true path. If I wanted to expand on this, I could build out this false path and do all multiple in-app notifications for different purposes or whatever. But this is pretty simple. I don't need to worry about that. But I put the condition in there so you can see that's an option you could take. So I'm going to close that. So now, again, if the if if the forecast category changes and the forecast com category is committed, I'm going to create a notification. So I'm going to click on that. And all I'm doing is I'm creating a notification. I'm giving it the title called Opportunity Status Change. And then in the body, I'm just something basic. I'm just saying the following opportunity and I'm entering in the opportunity ID value here has changed to committed. I did put an ex expiration of 30 seconds. I'm sorry, 300 seconds, which is five minutes. By default, if you don't put anything there, I think it defaults to like 14 days. And then I'm assigning an owner. So in this case, I'm just saying system user, the owner ID of the, uh, the opportunity, which will be me when I run the test. Uh, you could obviously build up multiple uh, notifications for different different users if you want, things like that. But anyway, and then I just put a priority of high. So pretty basic flow just to kind of give you an idea what this op how this works. So I'm going to close that and go back. So now I'm going to go into dynamics. So again, these this is just a, a demo environment that I set up with uh, just sample data in it. And I'm going to Go into the sales hub here so when i drill when i log into the sales hub app i have an opportunity here that i created it's under blue yonder airlines when i open that up all i have this triggering on is this forecast category so you can see it's already set to committed so i'm going to actually go to pipeline and save it i'm going to actually reset it whatever you can kind of see i'm going to come back to this flow you'll notice that it actually doesn't get triggered to run because it was there is a condition on that so see it doesn't go but i'm going to come back to here now and i'm going to now change this to committed so the idea is when i save this i'm going to get a notification up here so if i come over here there's nothing in here at the moment I have this configured to it's enabled so there's enabled toast it's on and i'm polling every six seconds so by default i'm expecting something to show up in there once i once i save this record so i'm going to save it you can see i'm the owner up here system administrator so i'm going to save this i'm going to come back here and you'll, you'll notice it'll take a little bit to show up in the list i'm just refreshing it'll eventually show that it ran there there it ran 54 seconds ago yep so again, now I come back to the opportunity I was in, and by default, you'll notice the notification doesn't show up until I click it or if I go away to a different page. So now I click on that. 
can see I got one notification. There it is, just kind of the information I wanted to pass. Now it's polling every six seconds, right? But it doesn't, if I'm just sitting in a page, it doesn't show up. I have to actually kind of browse or move around it within the page. So if I go to the leads, for example, you can see the opportunity notifications pop up and stuff. So anyways, it'll show up there until I dismiss it and stuff or do something about it. So anyway, that's uh, uh, how to set up and use in-app notifications. And I hopefully that was helpful. Thank you.